The Young and the Restless Spoilers, everything you need to know before next week's episode. This week in The Young and the Restless, we saw some very wild things happening. And so that you don't forget, here's a quick recap for you guys. Adam and Chelsea try to reassure Connor, who expresses hatred towards himself in the situation. The doctor emphasizes the importance of their session, advocating for both parents' presence. In Connor's therapy session, the doctor outlines treatment options for his OCD, including residential therapy. Despite Connor's reluctance, Chelsea stresses the importance of addressing his condition. But he is not the only one who's suffering. Later in the doctor's office, Chelsea expresses doubts about managing Connor's OCD, revealing her past struggles with mental health and suicidal thoughts. She worries about passing on her issues to her son, feeling overwhelmed by guilt. Meanwhile, Adam learns about Connor's room change due to his OCD and reassures him of their support. Also, Connor expresses fear about attending a retreat for treatment. His parents discuss Connor's treatment options, with Chelsea advocating for a residential program despite Connor's reluctance. Meanwhile at society, Billy senses something amiss with Ashley and questions her well-being. Ashley denies any issues but later struggles with her inner conflict over Tucker. She wrestles with internal conflict over confronting Tucker, eventually deciding to sever ties with him. Tucker's relationship with Audra's really not doing well now that he's somewhat connected to Ashley but for those rooting for them, I think it's a good start. At the ranch, Victor and Nikki discuss Jordan, with Nikki expressing a desire for confrontation. Victor reluctantly agrees, knowing how dangerous it can be. In the dungeon, Jordan threatens the Newmans with a lethal toxin before ingesting it herself, choosing death over imprisonment. But is she really dead? I don't think so. Meanwhile, Kyle and Summer consider Claire's potential role as a nanny for Harrison, but remain wary due to her mysterious past. Finally, Summer demands to know everything about Claire and what happened at the lake house from her dad and grandpa. They reveal Claire's involvement and her time in Fairview. Soon after, Summer expresses disbelief at the idea of welcoming Claire into the family given her past actions. But Kyle seems to think it isn't a big deal since Harrison likes her. Now, in the meantime, Jordan's poisoning prompts debate among the Newmans about justice and forgiveness. But before we get to know what happens with her, Claire experiences a vivid dream where she isn't Claire. A dream where she has always been a Newman. From the day she was born, Jordan never stole her. She feels a sense of belonging with the Newmans, but also grapples with the influence of Jordan. The dream sequence unfolds with various family members sharing laughter and expressing love and support to Claire. However, Jordan turns up and it disrupts the celebratory atmosphere, symbolizing Claire's internal struggle and the threat to her newfound happiness. Ultimately, Claire confronts Jordan and asserts her determination to embrace her family and reject her manipulative influence. The dream ends with Claire expressing gratitude for her family and acknowledging her wish for happiness and belonging. As she awakens, Claire seeks comfort from her mother, Victoria. So that's all. Thanks for watching.